The Silver Bridge was an I-bar chain suspension bridge which was constructed in 1928 and carried the US Route 35 over the famous Ohio River and connected Point Pleasant to West Virginia and Gallipolis. Originally a private enterprise, the two-lane toll bridge was nearly half a mile long and cost $1 million to build. Named after its colour of aluminium paint, the Silver Bridge was a symbol of hope, something that the people of Point Pleasant were proud of, and rightly so. They dubbed it the Gateway to the South. However, today, the people don't remember the bridge for its hope or futuristic look. It's unfortunately known for something much, much more tragic. The American Bridge Company were the company who won the bid for the project. During the build, they settled on a cheaper method of construction which included eye bars instead of cables of steel wire. The eye bars used were 2 inches thick and ranged from 44 feet to 55 feet and were made of steel. They bore the hanging weight of the vertical support and held up the bridge deck below. At approximately 5pm on the 15th of December 1967, 39 years after it had been constructed, disaster struck. During bumper to bumper rush hour traffic, as people headed home from work or from doing their Christmas shopping, a crack in one of the eye bars caused it to snap, which then caused a catastrophic domino effect which brought down the two rocket towers. A horrendous noise emitted which sounded like a loud gunshot and in less than one minute the entire bridge collapsed. One eyewitness said the bridge folded like a deck of cards. Another noted that it didn't just fall in the river, it sort of slithered like a snake and then buckled and cars began falling off sideways. 31 out of the 37 cars that were on the bridge plunged into the Ohio River resulting in the deaths of 46 people. The following are a few stories of those lucky and not so lucky who were crossing the bridge that day. Charlene Woods had just finished work and was driving home when she felt the bridge beginning to shake. She managed to reverse and escape death by four feet. Bill Needham was a trucker. The bridge threw him into the river and he escaped through a partially open window. Unfortunately, his partner wasn't so lucky. Howard Boggs was travelling with his wife and his one-year-old child when their car heaved into the river. Unfortunately, he was the only survivor. This incident caused there to be much needed attention on other bridges. It also caused much needed inspections on the other two bridges that were built in similar design, including the St. Mary's Bridge in West Virginia that was immediately closed down and demolished. It also led to the legislation of ensuring older bridges to be regularly inspected and maintained. A memorial was installed in Point Pleasant to commemorate the 46 people who died. The collapse remains the deadliest bridge disaster in United States history.